Hello. Okay. Hello, hello. Nice to meet you. Nice to see you today. It's my uh, second uh, trying to see you and communicate with you. Wonderful. All right, yes. Can I get your name and where you're from? Okay, I'm Elena. I'm from Russia, from Siberia. It's a really cold place, the coldest, I think. <laughs> uh -huh. So I will say Stravstoycha uh, and Spasiba for coming live. Okay, yes, okay. <laughs> okay. So today, this, the theme is cell phones, and okay. I need you to pick a number, okay? Okay, but I think today you have so difficult questions for me. <laughs> I, I can't answer some questions, <laughs> but I, I'll try. I think yes. I'll try and do it. <laughs> it's, an, it's an opportunity. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay, uh, number two. Mm -hmm. Number two, okay. All right. So, here we go. All right. What is the appropriate age for someone to have a cell phone? Appropriate age. Okay. Who, what, who has a cell phone? Sure. Another another way to ask it is, uh -huh. what what is a good age, or how old should someone be before they have a cell phone? Okay. Mm -hmm. Appropriate age for uh, buying a cell phone. No, I uh, no for for having hey. no for, it's, having, for having for, one for having one. Okay, all people can uh, use a cell phone, but I think uh, children uh, don't have uh, to use uh, it uh, often. Maybe I think no. It's it's it's. Uh, I've understood. Have I understood the, your question? No. Yes. Is it's our topic? Yes. Mm -hmm. Yes. Okay. Yes. Yes. Okay. Uh, but I think uh, old people in our Siberia uh, can some uh, have some difficulties with using with using a cell phone. But for my children, I uh, didn't buy uh, a cell phone. I think it's a waste of time. I think uh, they. Uh, should uh, read books, uh, maybe uh, communicate with uh, their friends, uh, communicate with their parents. Uh, we can um, uh, we can see you each other without a cell phone. I I, I like real communication, and uh, um, a cell phone may be useful, but I I think it's a waste of time. Me. Okay. <laughs> I I I think uh, you you understood me. Mm -hmm. Yes. Okay. So you were you were able to understand the question. No problem. Okay. Thank you. But I'm really nervous because it's my first time. Uh, it was online. It's really uh, difficult for me. Uh, maybe I'm uh, some a little bit a little bit shy. Maybe <laughs> at end it it is it's wonderful. Thank you for this possibility uh, to practice my English. But I've forgotten. All English words, idioms. Oh, okay, I've forgotten all English. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's, it, it's good sometimes, or a lot of times, when we feel uncomfortable, those are perfect moments to improve and learn something new. Yes, yeah. it's just, uh, I think uh, some stressful uh, situation can improve uh, myself, ourselves, uh, and we uh, we have to, we should uh, try and try, and then we, uh, we can uh, be better. Yes, we can become better, I think. It's, it's my uh, first uh, really perfect moment. It's my first uh, thing, what I do for my English, for my English improving, I think. Practice, practice and practice, I think, yes. <laughs> okay, thank you. That, that's perfect. Sometimes, many times students ask me, they say, 
What what is the quick what is the easy way to learn English? The And best just... way, best give me the best way for studying English. Yes, uh, well, tell me. <laughs> I think the answer is kind of simple but difficult. Practice, practice, practice. You have to keep yeah. going. It's the it's the only way. Okay, may, maybe uh, next time I'll I'll uh, speak uh, uh, more successful. Maybe yes, uh, maybe I can uh, say what I want. Uh -huh. Okay. <laughs> English. Uh -huh. Okay. Well, thank well, you very much. Yes, thank you for coming live, and I need to move to the next person. Okay. Okay. Thank you. Goodbye. All right. Thank you. Bye bye. How are you? I'm fine. What about you? I'm great. Thank you. Can I get your name and where you're from? Okay, my name is Arturo and I'm from Mexico. Ah, well, muchas gracias por estar con nosotros y bienvenido. <laughs> okay. So today the theme is cell phones. So I'm going to ask you a question, but I need you to choose an, a number. Uh, I choose number one. Number one. Okay. All right. Let me find your question. Are you ready? Yep. Yes. I need more energy. Yes. <laughs> okay. Where do you put your cell phone while you are sleeping? Um. It depends because it's sometimes if sometimes I am using my phone while I'm trying to sleep. Or, or I in, I'm using it. Um, I put my cell phone in my in my bed, or when I'm tired, I try to put my cell phone on my desk, or uh -huh. next to me. Uh huh. And do you ever, or do you feel comfortable sleeping in a different room than your cell phone? Uh, uh I don't think so. But when I when I wake up. Uh, I'm trying to find my cell phone, and I'm 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 saying in my mind, where's my cell phone? I'm I'm trying to look for, it and I don't I don't remember what is my cell phone. I am then desperate, uh, looking for my cell phone. You know. <laughs> uh huh. And what would happen if you woke up and poof, your cell phone was gone? Uh, I don't know. I I I will become crazy. <laughs> because you know the cell phone is it's really important uh, in this in this uh, moment um because you use it to communicate with with people with friends to use uh for communication for work or some something like that you know it's very useful tool for many many things huh yep uh huh and do you usually charge your phone during the day or while you're sleeping Um, actually, I have a problem with my battery, and um, I have to, to to leave it on charging in the night because uh, in the day is when I use it uh, so often, and I can I don't have time to charge charge my phone while while I'm working, so I yeah. have to 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 leave my phone charging in the night, and then I use it during the day. Uh huh. Uh huh. Okay. Can you ask me the first question that I asked you about sleeping? Yeah. Where where I where I leave my where do do I leave my cell phone? Uh huh. So ask me. Okay. Where do you leave your cell phone while you are sleeping? Uh huh. Pretty much the same answer. Uh, the, your second answer. You said on your desk. I yep. do the same thing. I leave it on the desk or maybe on the table, but yeah, and I usually keep it in the same room with me. Mm -hmm. <laughs> right. What 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 do you do if you don't find it in the morning when you wake up? Well, I would probably start looking for it right away. Mm -hmm. <laughs> right. Uh, or what about if you if you don't find if you don't find it? Well. Then I might as well just pass out. Oh. <laughs> I don't know. I would find some sort of solution. <laughs> right? Yeah. Okay. Thank you for coming live.
Very well done. Thank you for to you. Okay. Well, have, have a, a wonderful. Nice. Let's see. Mexico. It should be daytime there, right? Morning, right? Yeah, it's morning. It's uh, half past eight in the morning. Okay, it's eight. It's eight thirty here at night. So we're on the opposite side of the world. Oh yeah, for sure. Yeah. Okay. Okay. All right. Have a wonderful day. Have a Russia. Ah. <laughs> I'm very glad to see you. I just joined the first time, and for two time I was just a listener and in your life. It's I like your motivational stories, your motivational speaking, talking. It's very interesting, and it seems to me, for me, phone it's changed my life from last year because of this phone. It's a big opportunity to learn English language. There are different apps you can talk, you communicate, and I improved my English skills from the beginner till intermediate right now. And that amazing love to English language motivated me to start to write poems from last year. Mm -hmm. I'm really very happy because it's all done by my phone. If it will be no phone, it will be not good life for me because now it's a big opportunity for me to communicate with people all over the world. And even if there will be no phone, I will know you. Uh huh. Okay. Well, very nice to meet you. And is your name you. is your name Anna, like your name, or yeah? Yes, I am from Russia. My okay. name is Anna, and I am from Russia. <laughs> Wonderful. So I'm going to ask you a question today about cell phones. Okay. Okay. If I can, I will try to answer. Oh, okay. okay I will try. Okay. Can you choose a number? Lesson number six, my favorite. Six. <laughs> okay, number six. Let's see, we can find yes. it. Uh, okay. Do you ever switch off your cell phone? How often and why? If I say true, my phone is always online. I never switch it off because I very often need it and communicate. If I'm if I don't want to answer to be in a group or in some social media, I will take him like without sound. Uh -huh. It's okay for me. But he's always with me and every person always can communicate and be online with me. Uh -huh. If I don't want to answer or maybe I have no time or I am working right now, I work. I work at the market. You can <laughs> see it's Russian market. Uh -huh. <laughs> we are close, we are sailing and I have a time for learning English language during my working day. Uh -huh. If I and have any time, I always with English <laughs> and your life is always when I, it's ending of my day. But I really want to listen because it's very interesting topics. Like last Instagram live, I like it about two spas, different meanings, different because uh, I will never listen it before. And <laughs> does your work, does your place, they have Wi-Fi or are you using a data plan? No, no, it's Wi-Fi in my phone. Uh. It's open area, open market. There uh. is. Cold in the winter and hot in summer. I, I mean, you have a Wi-Fi connection at work? Yes, in my phone. Ah, great, right? Yes. 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 Okay. Internet connection in my phone. Mm hmm And do you ever turn your phone off and turn it back on right away just to reset? Yes, just to reset. Only maybe five minutes. Uh-huh. Five, ten minutes, not more. Uh-huh. But you don't turn your phone off for maybe one, two, three, or four or five hours? No. Even when I go to the mountains, there is no connection. In this day, it will be okay for my phone. He will have a nice rest without me. But in everyday life, he is always online with me and always in touch. Uh, do, do you have a name for your phone? Because you keep saying he. <laughs> <laughs> he, because in Russia it's he. It's oh, he. oh they, they say my phone. Uh -huh. It's for boy. 
Ah, interesting. Yeah. I didn't know that. Ah, I thought maybe you had given a name to your phone, like Little George or something. Mm, no, just my phone name is Red Note, and it's he for me. Ah, okay. Because I am she, something like opposite. Uh huh. Okay. Well, thank you for coming live. Very well done. Very well. You, you're very confident. You. You're very confident. That's very good. Because I improved my English by myself. Uh, I went to Hello Talk and start to learn English in Hello Talk by communicating with native speaker. Uh -huh. Even I start to write poems, I wrote one poem. If you want to have a talk, try to come to Hello Talk. It will help you do day by day along your long learning way. Don't be shy, just try to speak. Every person at first is weak. Try to, some people in this app and they don't let you take a nap. You will find amazing friends. Love to up will never end. Mm-hmm. Very nice. And it rhymes too. Very yes, nice. I wrote it in Hello Talk birthday. It was a birthday and I wrote this poem even from last year. I, I have more than 35 poems. You can go to my Instagram account, Anadar Poetry, and you can listen my poems by the voice, and you can read them under the voice message. You can read them too by text. Okay. All right. Well, thank you very much for coming live. I need to move forward, okay? Thank you, thank you. I am really very happy to know you, to communicate with you, and always happy to be a guest on your life. We will meet very soon again. Okay. Thank you. All right, thank bye you. Bye-bye. App still crashed. So I know that my strategy for next time will be... <laughs> ah! I would say I'm pulling my hair out, but I don't have enough hair to pull out. Every time I finish, my app crashes. So, okay. Well, I just came back live because I wanted to say thank you to everyone that joined and everybody in the comments too. I, I don't like to end the live after it crashes because it's just kind of not natural. Okay? So, I'm kind of pulling my hair out today. Are you guys familiar with that phrase? Pulling my hair out, not literally pulling your hair out, but when you're frustrated with something, something is kind of uh, upsetting you, you might say, ah, I feel like I'm, I'm pulling my hair out today. But for me, it doesn't quite work because I don't have any hair. But it's frustrating because Instagram keeps crashing. <laughs> ah, but I will survive. It's an opportunity, right? All of these challenges are usually an opportunity to improve or to see the situation in a different perspective maybe and to be successful either way, right? Okay, Ooh, I see laughing faces, <laughs> people making comments. Mm -hmm. Or maybe you're just jealous. Oh, I cut my hair yesterday. Mm -hmm. So right now I'm very aerodynamic, right? The wind just goes whoof, right past me. <laughs> Okay, so thank you for everyone who came live and everybody in the comments. Let's see. Right. Okay, so I need to go. It's getting late for me here. I have stuff I need to do. So thank you, everyone, and I will see you soon.